Hi Capricorn, welcome to your monthly reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a channel reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of September, as usual, I have a special sales offer available that it's inspired in this Virgo theme season we are on. And the special uh, tarot offer, it's called Wipe Clean. So if you would like to know more details about that special offer or any other of my services, just email me or if you would like to donate and support my channel you can also do so by following the paypal link paypal link which is also down below so capricorn um i do feel like some of you are coming out of your shell there's this energy of some of you coming out of a hiding place and showing what you have showing you know the truth about something showing your creation showing yourself i just feel like some of you have been working behind the scenes or you have been waiting for the right time to act or do something in that behind the scene um behind the scenes energy and the time has come for you to kind of be on the center stage for some of you this is due to an influence of a relationship that is motivating you right to kind of radiate your light to not be afraid to be the beautiful individual that you are to perform right with uh the talents that you have which are many it's, it's a relationship, some of you have a relationship and a connection that is motivating you to be your own self, which is a beautiful thing to see. Here it is, the Two of Cups is a main energy. There's a very positive influence with you during the month of September that is helping you create harmony and empowerment, right? Balance from feminine and masculine energy within you, right? It, that is making you feel strong and capable and ready to face any adversity, any problem that you might have uh, before shied away from dealing with. Because I keep getting like some of you, this is like once in a lifetime kind of connection. So this is a soulmate union. This is a uh, even a friendship that is so healing, so supportive, so special. The, 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 the alchemy, right, that is created between you and someone, even the creative and artistic, you know, um, fruits that it can come from here. It's so, so magnificent and radiant that, again, it's once in a lifetime kind of presence. It's someone that even if it's in your life for a short time, it will change you. The connection and the dynamic here and the person's influence will change you forever. So some of you have certain um, influences when it comes to love, when it comes to people of a good heart, um, of a good nature that you're dealing with or about to attract that are destined and this destined energy is like the, the 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 relationship is it's beyond the purpose of being involved romantically with someone this relationship is an agent of evolution for your own self and being where you're going to put yourself out in the things you are about in a very 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 different and developed state so for example, Capricorns, maybe you are a very creative, intelligent, intelli talented individual, but you have always been afraid of exposure or failure of or attention or critic, whatever it is. No longer, because the sun shines. The sun is there. The sun knows its power. The sun is life, life force. Everybody loves the sun, and even when they don't, the sun doesn't care. It just is. is a, a fixed star, an influence that transcends any, 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 any other. Um, it transcends any other influence, actually. There's nothing competing here. Just your own self and insecurities. And this person is kind of a motivator. This connection is acting as a motivator 
to take you out of the shell, to start doing, creating and expressing perhaps uh, thoughts and feelings and ideas that you don't know where it's coming from. Some of you don't know where all this love you have is coming from. For some of you that you are falling in love now as you go into September, it's going to surprise you and be something that's going to pick up very fast. I see like the relationships will, will be evolving and the connection and the attraction and the fusion here of two worlds, of two energies. You see, you also have the lover. So this is a huge focus here in um, combining forces, right? Two energies meeting and creating this perfect union or partnership. And you also have another beautiful element um, in the unconscious, which is temperance. So there's a purpose for healing, for magic, for alchemy, for something, you know, transpersonal, actually, to be created and generated out of this. So some, some of you are already in relationships or about to be in relationships that have a real purpose and function beyond the personal obvious reasons um that a connection like this creates i also feel like for some of you you're just you know you don't know all, where all this all these feelings are coming from you were not ready for this or you didn't prepare yourself to be dealing with such at this time and there's a lot of romantic and romanticized uh, you know feelings and thoughts so you're like daydreaming a lot about love you're, all you think about is the person of interest or in finding a person of interest or you are, you are under influences that are going to take you there even if not consciously like uh, listening to a song that awakens in you all those feelings or seeing a movie or walking across uh, walking uh, in, a, in a space in an environment in a place that is so beautiful that activates that romanticizing um, vibration because sometimes we don't have to have an actual person of interest to have romantic feelings steered and so in a way this is a perfect moment also for creation which is another thing that is coming up strongly here and I feel like some of you that you don't have anyone um, like this or that you're dealing with you're falling in love with two parts of you which is again the feminine and the masculine are like getting themselves together to a point of unity. There's an internal marriage, an internal commitment that it's being made. That sooner or later it's going to be uh, manifested as you finding perhaps a counterpart, a person that is going to reflect and mirror back to you that work. Some of you have been coming right um from some of you have been working on yourselves a lot so some of you have been healing some of you have been trying to really have that integration to really have that um harmony set inside of you so that you are if you, so that if you are you are at peace with yourself you are at peace with the things that you don't control right and you're much more focused and invested in the things you can control and in the things that you can do right starting by creating right and giving to the world the best version you have of you or of something you're doing the best version you have as a human being as a colleague as a lover as a friend as a father as a son as a mother, as a daughter, whatever it is, all the roles that you can think about, the best possible version of you, Capricorn. And I keep getting like, some of you are really putting yourselves in a position that is going to be wonderful. It's like a road here of options is opening, 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 and all the options presented it feels like all of them come from um, a place and an energy that it's very positive and, you know, inspiring. Whichever you choose, your heart will be in it and your heart will find fulfillment in the road you choose. Career-wise, relationship-wise, 
personally, any chosen uh, path right now, any commitment you make, do not be afraid. I keep getting like, it's like, do not be afraid. Because it's coming from a place of heart and it will keep being so. You will be extremely fulfilled in ways that you haven't felt fulfilled uh, lately. So it's like September and October are months of great fulfillment, of great fulfillment, fulfillment um, to the depths. It's not something superficial. It's not something, you know, flighty that it's going to go away, you know, in a minute, in a blink of an eye. It's not an illusion. This is a real love. This is a really meeting of energies that bring, um, you know, the whole. It brings the whole of what you, again, as a human being, can be. And there's so much you can be. And I feel like some of you are reaching as well this conclusion that you have been selling yourself short. You have been uh, thinking about yourself and about your life in a way that does not correspond with the totality of you, the totality of your powers, the totality of your gifts. Some of you are very gifted but not exercising those gifts or channeling those gifts appropriately. And you're starting to see this, at least for some of you at Capricorns, to the very least this month brings positive acknowledgements when it comes to you. When it comes to you, either because you have great people around you that adore you, that are supporters of you and of your light. And so they're wanting to kind of take that light out of you more and more and more so you see yourself with more clarity you're very popular as well i feel like some of you capricorns have this popularity this aura this energy especially for capricorns that have been really working on the healing uh you're glowing right so this is something that is going to naturally bring to you right because this, this is an, an, an element here of chemistry you're going to attract to you good people, people with a good heart, I feel. So if you're considering if someone you're dealing with in which you feel this energy or people you might get to know during September and ahead, they are real, they are truthful, they are honest, and they join honesty with heart because sometimes this Queen of Swords can be a little bit uh, cold, detached uh is like a manipulative um it, it works and it operates more from calculation than again feeling but i'm not feeling that to be the case i'm feeling like you will meet someone or you are dealing with someone that is honest when it comes to their intentions towards you when it comes to their uh behavior and communication it's someone that probably also have been through some trials, as you did, that has healed or is in that path and having amazing results, just as you. is someone that was able to leave the shell, as you're about to, and have all these wonderful things coming to her. So it's like, like attract, attracts like, you know, there's something here about you attracting a person or a situation, an opportunity that is just vibrationally, is just exactly, you know, in sync. They are beautifully uh, connected and compatible with the moment you are in in your life and what you're looking for and seeing and wanting and what this person or opportunity looks as well. So the compatibility is immense. Sometimes we have chemistry, but we don't have, due to our life paths and, and choices and options, we don't have, you know, the same, uh, the same perspective of future, the same perspective of where we want to take things forward. If this is not the case, it's showing as having great chemistry and a huge compatibility because this person or this situation is going to be in sync with what you're in the bigger picture and long term, where you see yourself heading. This person is you are the performer, the sun, you are in the center of right stage you are in the stage performing and this person is always going to be there applauding you this person is there applauding you this person as just as you will be there applauding them so there's this thing about 
if you're afraid, again, I keep getting that some of you might be a little bit afraid of just not being, you know, something that's going to last because it feels too good to be true or because there's so much, you know, uh, when we are dealing with situations that evoke so much happiness and greatness and love in us, we can f panic. We can we can be fearful of that because we're used many times. We're used to have very bad examples of what relationships and love that it's not love but still is that leave an imprint that then makes us sabotage a lot of what we could live and um, what we could uh, achieve in this life. And I feel like some of you already went through a phase where you had to take limitations out of your programming, right? When it comes to what you see as love, as what you see as relationships, as you see what is supportive and good for you, all of that. Where you have overcome kind of the tendency to sabotage here some things um, due to past experiences. But still, you have a little bit, I feel like even though you're better, some of your Capricorns that I'm connecting are better in the understanding of the other and what's out there. You might be afraid that this is going to go away anytime because it's so special it's so important it's going so well that what's the catch i keep getting like some of you is like okay what's the catch and honestly as for now it's showing as it's free there's no catch this is something that is pure love a pure presence of love in your life and love does not charge that's not coming from love when we're being um, when it's transactional, right? There's no catch aside of the experience itself. So you can apply this to any situation in which you're feeling like, oh, things are going so well. I'm feeling so good about this. I'm so in love with this. Uh, what's coming next? Where is the catch? Where is the problem? You want to anticipate where the problem might be. And, you know, the, the fact that there might not be is kind of interesting here for some of you so i hope you have a great month thank you so much for all of you that have been liking sharing subscribing commenting and donating to my channel i really appreciate it thank you so much hopefully we'll see each other soon